All right, this is a reflection over or in the y-axis. So we are going to reflect over the y-axis. And this is the first thing you do. You kind of just, you should just highlight that y-axis. That'll remind you during a test or a high-pressure situation that you have to jump over that axis or count towards that y-axis and then count the same amount on the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do, though, is just list the coordinates of the original uh, figure. So that's negative 8, which is A, 8. So negative 8 to the left and 8 up. B is negative 4 to the left and 7 up. So the X is negative 4 and the Y is 7. That's real nice. All right. So then you have um, C at negative 4 and positive 4. And you have D as negative 8 to the left, which is your X axis, and 2, which is your Y axis going up. Okay, now you listed all of the coordinates of the original image. Now you're ready to go and reflect over the y-axis. Remember, this acts like a mirror, so if you actually do want to check, you could fold on that y-axis, and you should be able to see on the other side what the figure should look is going to look like when you reflect over that y-axis. So, this is your... I'm going to start from B, and I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, and 4. As soon as I reach the y-axis, I know on the other side I have to do the same thing. One, two, three, four. Once I put that point down, I list it as prime, and that's B prime. Or it looks like a B. Alright, so A is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight away from the y-axis. Now I have to count the same amount. Three, four, five, six, seven eight you could check you should be lined up with eight and a that is a prime c is four away one two three four c prime has to be one two three four and d prime d is eight away and d prime has to be eight away so now you put that as d prime i just look back at the original figure a goes to b that means a prime has to go to b prime b goes down to c so now i'm going to connect that those two points c goes to d on a slant like that so I'm, i know exactly what i have to do here and then d goes straight up to a and that's what my figure does so that is a reflection over the y-axis. Now I'm going to list the coordinates of the image of what I just graphed. A prime is 8 to the right and 8 up. So that is 8 and 8. B e prime is 4 to the right and 7 up. So that's all positive because this is in the first, all of these points are in the first quadrant. So everything's going to be positive. Um, C prime is 4, 4. And D prime is... I don't know what I put here. D prime is 8, 2. Sometimes my letters do not look good at all. Alright, so... That's basically it. So that's one way of reflecting over the y-axis is actually counting the boxes or lines to, to the, the axis and then the same amount on the other side. But if you want to remember the rule, the, this is the rule. When you reflect over the y-axis, the x turns its sign. So remember, when you reflect over the y, the x changes. So that's basically it. And you could just look at your coordinates a is negative 8, 8. A prime is 8, 8. So that means the x changed its sign. And again, negative 4, 7, and 4, 7. 
x changed its sign. Negative 4, 4, 4, 4, x changed its sign. All right, so that is another way that you can actually do it. And instead of counting, you could actually use the rule if you remember it. So reflection over y-axis, the x becomes negative or changes its sign. Reflection over the x-axis, the y is the one that changes its sign. And that's basically it for the reflection over y of the y-axis.